Andy, you're known as Mr. Bowler by so many people. How do you gauge the progress of the sport down here in the South? Well, uh, the South, uh, you know, today, the South, tomorrow it'll be a different story because everybody from the North that have been bowling for many years are all moving down here because they want to get away from that snow. You mean we're being invaded again by, yes. by bowlers this by time? By bowlers this time, yeah. So you think the sport has to grow down? Oh, it has to grow. Well, you came right in the uh, week where the women are uh, challenging for the city championship. Well, the women have been the greatest thing that ever, ever happened to bowling because uh, uh, they really, when they entered the bowling establishment, the, the proprietors uh, beautified the place, and uh, the women have, you know, should get a lot of credit because they became a great contributors to the uplift of bowling. You've been in the game over six decades, Annie, and you're still bowl, don't you? By, by the line? No, not by the line. I bowl by the hour. I don't know how many lines. I just throw the ball and uh, then the rest up. I, I bowl on two lanes continuously for about a couple of hours every afternoon that I'm, when I'm home. How about other senior citizens? you think they should uh, be doing the same thing? Well, every senior citizen should bowl as a little at least but they should learn how to bowl. Mm -hmm. They should bowl with a suitably weighted bowling ball. They should learn how to walk, should develop a little synchronization, synchronized delivery. Mm -hmm. And then they can do a better job because bowling, the exercise derived from proper way of bowling, you can't get in any other sports. Bowling is not as strenuous as it appears. It's a mild exercise. And everybody can, can enjoy it. You say it's coming down here, and yet, uh we don't have the kind of weather they have up north. I mean, you know, we can play golf almost all year long down in the south. But not at night. Oh. <laughs>